Good evening or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to the Road to Code and my week 16 of Code Clan in Edinburgh. So it's the last week of my professional software development course and the sun's came out, it's feeling like spring. I'm taking a wee wander through Princess Street Gardens at the minute. Just finished up Code Clan for today. Thought I would do the intro now where I've got some spare time on my hands. Um, so this week, obviously everybody's doing something a bit different this week. Um, some people are already in, uh, on cruising street because they've already found a job or they've managed to secure a job quite early on during the course. And this week's maybe been a wee bit easier for them or, well, that's probably unfair to them, I wouldn't say easy, but they've probably had a lot more time to think about what project or presentation they want to do for a final project. Um, but the rest of us, we've been spending doing our personal development award stuff, the PDA stuff, trying to research other programming languages or learn something new. So I touched on the video last week before I finished up week 15 video. So I've been learning wee snippets of web scraping. So been using Python, so Python 3 with pip3 and been using Scrapy to do some web scraping which has been really useful, really insightful to figure that out. I'm trying to put that together with a wee um, Rails back end and uh, React front end. So, well, this week's been really good to get some time alone. Sometime I just think, sometime I just look for jobs and see what's in store for the future. So going forward, tomorrow, um, I think probably about the same as today, looking for jobs, um, more self-learning, and then on Thursday, we have presentations, and then on Friday, we'll have our graduation. So super looking forward to that. Graduation is gonna be fun. Chance to obviously get a wee bit dolled up, come in, get a wee bit of recognition for all the hard work we've put in over the 16 weeks, and then say goodbye to everyone for obviously, until we see them again. So we'll check in with you again tomorrow, and we'll see what's what. And welcome back to the Road to Code. It's Thursday morning, week 16, and the last ever time we're going to be going into Code Clan with the laptop, ready to learn some stuff. So this morning, I think at 10 o'clock, it's about 5 to 9 now, at 10 o'clock I think we're going to start doing wee presentations, not really formal presentations, but I'm just going to give a wee 5 10 minute talk to the class and what I've been learning on web scraping. Uh, saving what I've been saving, saving what I've scraped from a website into a CSV file or into a JSON, thrown it into the database or thrown it into a spreadsheet and doing what you want with that information. So we're not going to hang about, we're going to get right in a code clan now and see what the day entails. Okay, so what just happened there was right as I was about to give my presentation to the class on what I'd learnt this week on web scraping, my battery died. So what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to do a quick screen recording, I'm going to chuck myself right up in this top corner here, 
and I'm going to talk you through exactly what I just went through with the class. So anytime you're looking to do any kind of um, web scraping, the first thing you need to know is what website it is that you're actually going to scrape. So this is the website I've chose. It's a car website and for me I want to be able to get a hold of all these car names, the whole 10 of them, all the way down the page, as well as the 0 to 60 times. So what I need to do is, I need to open the terminal, I need to open, we're in the, the right directory that we're in at the moment, um, and we need to open the Scrapey shell. We'll open that. And the first thing we we'll want to do is tell it to go fetch the website that we want. So we'll do fetch, open the brackets, <coughs> we'll copy and paste the link of the website we need. There we go, copy that, paste it right in, close the brackets off, and there, it's went off, it's fetched that website we need. To get the response to be able to see it, we do a few response, close the brackets, and hit enter. And there we go, it's opened another file that's on our local computer with every single element in place the way it was on the, the proper website. So we could inspect each element, the ones that we want, get the tags that we want, either the CSS tags or the HTML tags. And then from there, that's where we're able to make the magic happen. So while we're in the scrapey shell, I'll just show you quickly. I'll get the values that we need to speed up the process a bit. So if I paste this line right in here, so we're telling uh, the scraper shell what we're wanting the response from the CSS tag td.car and get the text from that and telling it to extract. We hit enter and there we go. That's the 10 cars that we need, the names of the 10 cars. We'll do the exact same for the, um, for the 0 to 60 times, similar thing. Um, but this time instead of saying um, td.car, we'll have value. Uh, hit enter and there we go, the top 10 cars uh, 0 to 60 times. So what we want to do now, we want to be able to create a brand new project. Um, and for that, we want to start something like this, scrapey start project Carfax. That was the last one I made, but the one I'm in at the moment is called Car Cars. So obviously I had to call it something different this time. So what that does is, it opens a brand new um, Python project, and gives you loads of files. This one here, this Car Cars bot, that's not created until you actually put, specify the bot that you actually want it to, to run. This settings, and then we've got here the, the CSV and the JSON that I'll explain in a second. So straight away, um, the first thing we want to do is create the bot, the create the spider that's actually go, going to go run and get the information back that we need. So while we're in here, we would normally run uh, this line here, which is scrapey, gen spider, give it a name, car cars bot, give it the website that we want to go scroll, crawl through. So that creates this file here, it creates right up to this bit, including this line, and this is the, the extra information that we've passed in. So when it goes off and does a scraping, it saves all the information in a dictionary. And this, we're given um, two variables, cars and zero to 60. And these lines here are just the lines that we put in the, the scrapey shell to be able to get the information back what we needed. This zips the, the direct the dictionary of information that we wanted. And we'll give it two names here, so car, and 0 to 60. So once we've done that, we're good to go. And if we go right into settings, and we'll add these two lines in here, so we'll want it to come back as a JSON file, and we'll want it to be called cars, carcars.json. And that's when we run um, the scrapey crawl car cars bot. As soon as we've done that, it creates us this file. So there we go, that's the JSON file there, the 10 cars and the 10 0 to 60 times. And if I wanted, we could go into settings, we could change the JSON there to CSV and change that JSON there to CSV. And that's why when we get the CSV file, we could go straight into Google, we could upload the, the CSV file and we could get the information there. Or alternatively, we could go straight into 
Mongo and we could upload that exact JSON file that we just scraped from that website straight into MongoDB. There we've got imported the 10 documents. We'll go into Mongo. We'll use um, cars and we'll do, we'll find the car. So we've done database, car stats, find, and that's the 10 objects that we've got there inside the database as a JSON file. So yeah, super powerful stuff. Obviously this is really the basics and um, if you're wanting to, to do more scraping, you could continuously keep running scraping. You could um, make sure that you're running more than one website at a time. You could um, make sure that you're constantly scraping 24 seven, so you're constantly looking for new information that's coming back. Um, the endless possibilities, obviously this was just a quick tutorial and a quick rundown just to, to give a brief description about what I've been learning this week. So yeah, super excited. We've got a couple of more presentations to listen to this afternoon. And then that's us, that's us, that's us done. It's our very, very final day of learning anything new or even being in the classroom. Tomorrow's our graduation day. So super excited for that. And um, obviously like people that have been following me along on this journey, the, the road to code and seeing how much I've been learning over the last 16 weeks has, has been great. And I've, I've been any help to any future possible graduates or future possible um, uh, people that want to apply to Cool Clan and even better, but we're going to finish off the rest of the day, and we're going to—I'll probably chuck in some little clips from the graduation tomorrow, which should be fun. I'll give it, everybody a chance to get spruced up, cleaned up, and looking a bit presentable. And then it's off for a couple of drinks, and then I'll be heading back home to Dundee because it's my birthday as well, so time to spend with the family. So yeah, I'll check in again later today or tomorrow and we'll see how we get on. Cheers! Okay, dokie, so that's it. That's us done. Everything's done and dusted. The last day of learning anything new, the last day of presenting, the last day of having to wear this damn coat. It's getting roasted, but I'm having to wear it just to even take the stupid thumbnail for the photos. So yeah, we've done it. 16 weeks are over. Only left to do is go in tomorrow, have the wee graduation, and say goodbye to everybody. So yeah, today's been amazing. Have you just seen that wee clip? that wee montage that I just put in there of the whiteboard. That was the instructor, Jolt, writing everything down, everything that we had learned over the last 16 weeks, separated into obviously the three modules, Ruby, Java, and then JavaScript. And when you look at it like that, and if you had obviously told us at day one, that's how much we were gonna learn, it's crazy and obviously sometimes, if you're looking at all that and you think, well, maybe don't necessarily remember that much about that, but five, 10 minutes on any of them things that we've seen on the board there and we'll probably be familiar with it again. So it's crazy how much we've learned in the last 16 weeks. I'm gonna keep probably thinking that for ages, but there's nothing left to do. Gonna chill out for the rest of the night, get all my bags packed, get everything ready for heading home to Dundee tomorrow after the graduation. And then I'll probably chuck in some wee clips from the graduation tomorrow and some maybe some good my, buy messages from everybody else because obviously me not being in Edinburgh I might not see them again. So we'll check in again tomorrow and see how we get on.
marketing program. Okay, so that's all the excitement over and done with. We're going to wait ahead from here. Everybody's waiting a trip along to the pub just now and we're going to do some awards there. Awards for, I don't know, something that the, the instructors have set up. So the graduation party is over. Um, we've got our certificates. We've had our final stand-up. We've had some words of wisdom from the instructors. And it's time to move on to the next chapter. So I'll probably check in or throw in some clips when we're along at the pub. And then that'll be it. I'll sign off for the video after that. Okay, okay, so it's the end of the day. We're at Vodka Revolution in Edinburgh. It was a pub like right over the road from the, the Scottish Museum. So we're having a bit of fun, we're having a bit of banter, we're doing like these kind of fun awards that are maybe no being appropriate for when we're along at Koi Clan and um, we're just having a laugh. Obviously a lot of the things that we're discussing, a lot of things that's getting says are maybe not um, suitable for this video. Uh, so we're just all having a laugh. So I want to just sign out here. So obviously this video's probably been quite long and I'm not, not going to get another chance to sign out for the video. But obviously anybody that has obviously watched the videos from day one or even from week one or anybody that's joined halfway through my road to code journey I just want to say thank you for um, sticking around watching my wee updates every single week and giving me some support and giving me the likes and the thumbs up in the, the comments below But obviously I'll try and do a video next week where I'll give a, a recap on what I've learned through the whole last 16 weeks and what my next plans are for the future and obviously next week I'm going to be trying to look for jobs as well ideally in my hometown of Dundee. So yeah, thanks again for sticking around for my road to code and we'll just see what the future holds. Thanks, see ya.